Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. It's kind of a bonus video here today. It it's is. uh Saturday. No, Sunday. It's Sunday. It is. So Lonnie was um kind of looking around at our solds the other day and stumbled across that you can go back and look two years at your solds. Right. So, Which makes sense because now they have Terapeak lookups on eBay for two years back. Right. So now you actually have your own data for two years. Yep. So we thought we would just show y'all real quick. Like we were curious, we had the question, how many cookbooks have we sold so far and how much have we sold those for in the past two years? Right. So let's try that, Candace. Let's see what, let's see what we've done. So first thing to do is to go to, and I'm not going to, I'm not getting too close to the screen because there is customer data. But first thing you want to do is click on orders. I can't come in a little closer. Hover there we go. Over it. Yeah. All orders. Mm -hmm. And then the you, you just need to change the dates. So how it has period last 90 days here. Yeah. You're going to go into that. Let's let our page load. Okay. And then um, custom. Yep. Yeah. I'm trying to get there's a name like right under there. I don't we're good. That. I think we're good. Okay. Maybe custom. Okay. And then we're gonna change the dates here. We already we already did from when we were fooling with it earlier. Okay, it kept it for us. But yeah, you would just change the date here and we so we put it back all the way that we could, all the way to 4-3-2021. So we're gonna get a two year look back there. And then you're gonna change this to item title. Yep. We're just doing cookbook now the one thing i was just thinking about it we do have some probably that are cookbook two words but we'll just go with this we'll go with it everything i list i try to keep it as one word okay yeah i think and because I, th I think when ebay does your search for it it can it can use it for either mm -hmm. but i like all of ours to be consistent okay so i think so, we have our results right so you can yeah. go ahead and scroll through and you can see um it shows each one and we have 59 of them right all right so but it's really hard to see like the data it's too much data like we can't see any totals or anything like that other than the one of 59 thing right here we can see that mm -hmm. so what you can do is you can actually on the right over here you could download a report it's gonna create and it's here. it's going to generate a report and then it's going to make it available to download. It doesn't take long. It takes maybe 30 seconds or so. All right. And then it automatically downloads it. And then Candace is going to open it. And let me scroll over. Yeah, scroll over. You can use the mouse. If you side scroll on the top of the mouse, there you go. And you can get to. Let me get past all this customer data. Okay. And then the, the price that it sold for is way over here. You got to find it. Okay. Right. So okay. here we are. Yep. This is the price that it sold for, and this is the shipping. So they do have it separated for you. Right, y yeah. Yeah, the, the one thing I'm... Okay, yeah, I think it's all right. Yeah, like the multi quant. The, well, we had some listings where they bought more than one, and it went ahead and just totaled it for us. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. okay, gotcha. And we did verify, like with cookbooks, all the multi-quantity orders was just cookbooks. Now, I guess we could try something else to see if if it has different items how it does you know so okay so now if we want to find out what the sold for total is on cookbooks in the last two years just scroll all the way down and just in this empty cell right here just type equals on the keyboard and then sum sum and then uh do an open parentheses shift nine shift nine Okay, now drag your mouse over all these numbers all the way up. Click and drag? Click and drag, yep. Okay. And then it's going to do the sum of all those. And there's probably an easier way to do this. All right. And then just hit your little check mark there. And then that bottom field now, 182834. Now that's the actual, that's the sold price. Before fees. Yeah. Before fees. That does not include shipping right. or anything. That's right. the actual sold price price yep. for cookbooks for us for the last two years I mean, you could do that like i i think this is fun because 
we didn't have we before we only had a 90 day look back mm -hmm. in two years it's like so much more freaking data yeah it's nice and some items like we thought maybe we sold more of and we didn't sell as many as we thought and some like this we sold more than we thought we had right like so. ba like baseball gloves for instance i thought we had probably sold oh uh, probably 100 in the past two years no it only sold like what 35 or something yeah, some which is still a lot but yeah. it's not it's like that's what like less than one a month Right. on average right. <laughs> so yeah yeah that's fun that, y'all might find that's fun to play with uh with your numbers so you can take like a two-year look back at everything right uh to see what's really going on because i feel i think a lot of times you feel like you're doing things more often or less often than you actually are until you look at you know those yeah. numbers so yeah. that's pretty fun i wish we had even more data i wish we had like 10 year look back yep that'd be cool interestingly enough um we did a two-year look back on cookbooks but we really we only started selling them a year ago right so that's really a year's data for us so um also well we thought we'd go ahead and today is sunday by the way our time and we picked we did go to some garage sales yesterday and we picked up a few things so we thought we'd go ahead and share with y'all what we found yeah yeah let's take a look all right now this first this first brand here um I actually picked up some Danner boots uh, a couple years ago, brand new. So I knew that they were uh, pretty, like a highly desirable brand of boot. It's funny, we were actually talking about that yeah. before we found these. like Because we went to a sale where they had a ton of like camouflage stuff. And I don't know what brands to look for in that. And Lonnie does because he did a high end. Uh, I know a few things. Yeah. Lonnie knows some of the higher end brands because of a big buy he did, and this was one of them. That's one of the ones I said, and then sure enough, I pick up some boots. I'm like, oh wait, these are Danners. Yeah. So, which was good. I'm glad I knew that because if I wouldn't have known, then the the original price that the guy told me he was asking for these was thirty dollars. If I wouldn't have known, I probably would have just said. Oh well, that's that's too much. I wouldn't have said anything. I would have said, "Oh, okay, thank you." Yeah, I, you're thinking that's nowhere near what I'd want to pay. We're, right, we're just not going to be able to come together. On exactly, yeah. because like most work boots, you're going to get like, you know, sixty, fifty, sixty bucks, something like that. Yeah. But these, you can probably get a little more. Uh, ended up offering the guy twenty dollars for these, and he he accepted. And they are like, they look. They probably look a little worse than they really yeah, are. Yeah, they're dirty. They need to be cleaned up. And there is some, like, scuffing. It's not, like, structural scuffing. Though. No. We're hoping we can just polish that out. Yeah, I think I think they're going to clean up pretty well. There's yeah. not really that much wear like to them. Look, right, look how, like, right. right here. Maybe he had his pants over there or something. Yeah. There's not that much wear to them, Candace. Yeah, they're just dirty. I think they've been stored in a garage or something. Once so. we, I think once we use some, like, brown shoe polish on those toes to clean them up and clean the rest of the boots up of course i think we'll be good because these do not look there's not a ton of wear on the treads either now do you know if do you know like on danner boots are some worth more than others or, I, I don't know that much about good? them most danners are good okay they're they are made in the usa and i think they pretty much all have like the vibram soles and i mean you can look at them you could just look at them and tell they're a little different than other boots yeah right and they're, they're heavy as hell, too. Even the lining looks kind of fancy. I don't know if y'all can tell. Right. It looks almost like satin sheets or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, no. They're, they're, they're high, higher end, for yeah. sure. So we paid 20 for those. Don't know what they're worth yet, but we'll find out. All right. This is a, um, a bullet ammo reloading book. Paid 50 cents for that. Yeah. It's got a bad corner on it right here. Well, like I got to tell Lonnie, when, you know, if somebody's buying this, they're not buying it to collect and display on a shelf they're buying it to use it so maybe we can just price it a little lower than market. i did look it up and you people are getting like 12 to 15 so maybe charge 10 we'll just get 10 yeah. 50 cents in a 10 that's fine we got two gloves um a rawlings and a rawlings yeah we bought those two for five dollars for both so yeah. 250 a piece at the same sale that we bought these boots yeah. they had a lot of really good stuff there i don't know if these gloves, like this glove looks pretty nice to me. Yeah, it's not really worn too much. Just the, like the paint off of them. I've sold this RBG 36 glove a bunch of times in the past. Yeah. That's a Ken Griffey Jr. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Not autograph model. 
Signature? Signature yeah. model. Yeah, that, that's what you probably call it. Okay, uh, I grabbed this. It was just a dollar. It's one of those um, tactical bags. You know, Range like, Max Tactical. It's got like that Velcro on it. That's how I know to look for them. Paid a dollar for it. It does have um, some minor condition issues with the Velcro inside. Might be able to trim that up. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Look, uh, yeah, you can trim that up. Yeah. It, it's still not going to be... I think that pulled off. Oh, it pulled off of here somewhere. Yeah, some, something. Here's some right here, too. So I'll just trim all that up. and um, I don't even know. You Did you look this up? Yeah, I'm not sure if that's worth anything or not, okay. honestly. What would you pay for that? A dollar. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. I, I, didn't, I didn't look it up because it was only a dollar. It, did, yeah, it yeah. doesn't matter at that point. Uh, PS4, at the, that was the same sale as here? Yeah. Now... When I picked it up, I said, hey, do you have the hookups for that? He said, no. And also, he did tell me, he said, look, that thing has an issue with HDMI on it. The HDMI doesn't work. So I bought that knowing it was going to be, I'm going to resell it. I'm not going to do anything with it other than in parts only as is. You know, uh, I'm not going to say untested. I'm going to say it's broken. Yeah. So paid five dollars for it and I, i'm sure we're gonna make a nice little profit on it i don't yeah. know what it'll go for no. i'd imagine it's got to go for at least 40 50 right i would think but i don't know for sure so these are two two different sales two different sales and we paid two different prices big time yeah. this was funny so this this garage this first pair we're going to show you the garage sale we were walking up the driveway and this guy is walking the other way and he he says to us we know nothing about this guy he says to us hey when y'all get up there if you see something you like they're ready to they're ready to bargain yep. so they're making deals they're making deals so make sure you you know make sure you bargain and i didn't know if the guy was a shopper or what so anyway we're looking around and i, I see these roller blades or whatever they're called inline blade, skates blade runner. <laughs> yeah so i see these they're priced at 15 and I'm still looking around and then we see that guy come back up the driveway and I'm like aha Lonnie thought he was a shopper I, did, I thought he might be yeah but then when I saw him come back up I'm like hey there was a lot of crowd of people there was two women checking people out and there was like a little right. crowd right so uh, anyway I'm like I talked to the guy I said hey you said they're making deals right and he goes yeah they're making deals and I said well, which one of these two ladies behind me should I try and bargain, negotiate with? Which one is easier? <laughs> and he said, that one. <laughs> he pointed to one of them, and I just held them up. And she goes, how about $5? We were buying something else there, too. Oh, I know what we are Yeah, I, Yeah, I remember. And uh, so, yeah, she, she offered, she said $5, and we're like, yeah. And then Lonnie had something else for $2, and she goes... <laughs> He handed her seven. She's like, you can just have that for a dollar. She was trying to give him money back. <laughs> right. I would already, I was already paying her. But the other thing, I just went ahead and paid her for. Yeah, we, we just insisted she kept the two dollars. So we got the, we got this pair. They look how clean. They look new. I don't think they've been used. You can usually tell. Well, they do have a scuff here. They were probably. They probably wore them once. Usually the roller blades will have some kind of scuff in here. I guess they hit. How the many times? How many times have we seen roller blades that look like they've been used once? Like people try it out and like, oh, I can't do this. Oh hell no. <laughs> yep. That makes me want to never buy roller blades. I know. So. And we always, they always sell for us. So that's the first pair we bought. And these these are a good size too. Like that's a good adult size there. Yeah. Size eleven men's, I think. Mm -hmm. And look, yeah, I think these these are probably going to be pretty good. Yeah, they look good. Now, these other ones, I don't think I did quite as good on. I bought these prior to buying those, and I don't think, I just don't think they're as good. I think they're for kids. Well, they are kid size, or maybe a woman's. They're adjustable, see? Adult, there's probably woman's six to nine. You say, uh, it just says adult six to nine. I know, I'm just kind of looking at this shoe, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think they're as good though. I don't think they're as high quality. And they they had 20 on them and I ended up paying 15. I don't think we're gonna be able to get, I don't think we're gonna make a bunch of money on those. Yeah. They are in great shape though. They are, they're, they're in good shape also. So, and I've never had problems selling inline skates or roller blades before. They're, they're one of the little things I like to pick up. Okay, this is the other part of that 
Roller rollerblade buy where the lady was trying to give me a dollar back. I just went ahead and paid the two for this. I bought Craig stuff in the past and it always does pretty well. This is new sealed and I think it's going to get at least 20 bucks plus ship. We paid two for it. Okay. This next one's going to be controversial. This is not real. This is a, and it's also not a toy. What yeah. it is, it's an NRA. You can see it's NRA branded. Um, and if you look here, you can see where the fuel comes, where the flame comes out. And this is where you fill it and it's a lighter it's a lighter yeah my question can we sell that without an orange tip that's a good question i'll see other listings on there but we i don't want to be the one we would be the one i, I don't want to be the one yeah but you do this it's hard to do you do this and it sparks it i don't think it has fuel yeah i don't know if there's something else i need to i don't know, I don't know. yeah but yeah, I paid a dollar for this thing. It looks like it's worth about 35 or so. Yeah. Uh, so it's really kind of cool. All right, same sale. That's the sale where we got the Danner boots right. and um, the gloves and the PS. They had a lot of cool stuff there. Got that there and this also. It's a North Face jacket. It's um, really clean. Looks like it's never been worn. We paid $10 for it. Yeah, a few things we had to pay up for. I, we call paying $10 for a jacket paying up. Y'all yeah. might think that's kind of funny, but yeah. <laughs> it is nice. It's a nice jacket. I'm not crazy about the color, but no. it's probably somebody's taste. Somebody bought it. Somebody bought it once. Yeah. <laughs> somebody can buy it again. I got another Topsy Turvy doll. Yeah, look at this. Captain that's Hook a thing. And Peter Pan. Zelda. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, this one's not vintage. It has a date on it, 1997. Although I told Lonnie that's, that is actually vintage. That is vintage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is cool. That's all I have to say about that. I mean, we paid a a dollar for it. It says two dollars on it. I know. I didn't see it because it was it had Peter Pan, right. and I asked her how much, and she said no. Are we sure that's not old Link? Is that his name? No, it's. <laughs> I know. It's I'm kidding. Peter Pan, Captain Hook. That is cool. Yeah. The Captain Hook side is way cooler. Oh yeah. He's got, he's got all kind yeah, it's of. It's like they're sitting on a little mountain or something. Accessories going on. Since they don't wear dresses. Did you look that up yet? No. That might be a little better since it's like Disney themed. There, yeah, there is a new Peter Pan movie coming out in just a month or so. Is that story originally a Disney story? Mm -mm. So no. it it, it was, could be Disney themed without being our. I don't think this one's not Disney. It's not Disney. No. Okay. It doesn't have to be. No. Okay, cool. Because um, the Disney Peter Pan didn't look like that. Right. Yeah. Um, this was an an awesome buy. This was a we didn't know how good it was. Yeah. So we went to this family run estate sale on the second day, and they just had like toys laying on the ground. And every time I see interesting looking dinosaurs or pretty much any kind of big mm -hmm. dinosaur, I always look for the JP on it. I was about to tell you something, but I saw you already went to the the thigh or whatever yeah. that is. And then you, I saw, okay, well, she's on it. And there's yeah. a JP on it. So I paid a dollar for this, and y'all are not going to believe. This is one of the grails. This is like the holy grail. I don't know if it's the, but it's one of them. Uh, the most recent sold was $200. Yeah. Now, we, it does take batteries. There's a battery compartment in there. We haven't yep. opened it up. We haven't tried it out. And it is missing. <laughs> some Something or someone chewed off two of its talons right yep. there. And there is some paint yeah. wearing and stuff. Uh, and there is a bend in the tail. Yeah, which I may be able to get out. It's not bad. It just, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, we were, I was, I, I was trying to find comps last night when I was laying in bed. And it's I, ra I it's rare. Find, I couldn't find one. That's why. Because there was none. Yep. So. But it is a JP right here. It says JP28 and it's chaos a, effect chaos effect that's what they call it chaos effect and it's a tyrannosaurus rex it's yeah. a t-rex t-rex chaos effect so yeah this might be the find of the day huh uh, i don't know you have a pretty good one too just well i mean just on just based on the multiplier right because you paid what a dollar yeah and it's probably going to go for at least 150. Right, that's what we're thinking. About so we don't. Uh, that's by far the best the home one run. That sold for 200 was not perfect. It said it had mouth repairs. So. If this thing, if that thing works, then oh, we gosh. might be thinking like 175 to 200. I hope it for works. It. Me too. Yeah. We went to a neighborhood sale and 
there was this, you know, sometimes the neighborhood sales, they'll just, just to participate, they'll put out a table with just a few items on it. Right. And we were kind of parked between three houses, and I saw this one in a distance, and she only had a few things on the table. I'm like, oh, do I want to walk over there? It doesn't look like she has anything. Well, she did have these. They're all um, Monster High DVDs. You know we're all about that. Yeah. She had a mark for a dollar each. There's seven of them. I offered her five, and she took it. Um, uh, three of them are sealed. I'm just going to lot these up. Have you looked any of that stuff up? I have not. Well, you some, don't of know. Them, some of them are promos. Look, as, as, as crazy as some of the Monster High stuff is, you right. don't know. You may have a gem in here. And this is, none of this is the live action. So, yeah. I'll be able to lot all those up. All right. Here's Lonnie's goodbye of the day. Well, we think. We hope. I'm, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure. So this is a, I, I could see, it had, I, I saw a music and arts and we have a band kit, so we are somewhat familiar with instruments and the price of and the, the cost of, the of them. Big brass instruments, yeah. Right, and this saxophone looked like it was in really nice condition to me. Yeah. Like not super old. Y'all can see. Look, it looks like it. It's definitely not beat. It's been taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. And um, she was asking what. She was asking a hundred. Okay. It's on this tag right here. As a matter of fact, oh look, this is music and arts. No, there's a oh, hundred dollar. The oh, there it is, right there. So I was hemming and hawing, going back and forth. The brand is Buffet Buffett Crampone something Paris. I was hoping it was Yamaha, but then whenever I looked up, I looked up that brand on eBay real quick before I got involved with this, and if it's the the lower end student version, which I think it is, then I think we could probably get anywhere from two to three hundred for this. Let me wait, there's some writing right here. That's a serial number. Yeah. I don't know where to find the friggin' model number. That's gonna be on there. And it might be on the uh the mouth thing. Yeah. That's not the mouthpiece, it's just the rest of the instrument. Right. And I'm not even sure what kind of sax this is. You can tell, uh, when I was looking online, you can tell by the shape of this part, so we should be able to narrow it down. And Molly could probably tell us a little bit about it, too. Yeah. I imagine. So it's either an alto or a tenor sax or something. We don't yeah. really know. We're not yeah. that smart about that stuff. Uh, the only thing it doesn't have is a mouthpiece, and that's fine because nobody wants to use mouthpiece anyway. Yeah, you buy those separately, so. But yeah, uh, I, I offered 60, and she immediately said no. I thought about it for a few more minutes and I'm like, how about 80? And then she, she took it. Yeah. She didn't really want to. This is kind of later in the day. It was. And I knew there was nobody else going to, and she knew it too. There, nobody else is going to walk up and buy this thing from her at that point in the day. It, it's a bad time of year to sell student instruments. You want to do that like late summer, early but, fall. But man, it, it's probably, and the the fact we we've actually got a rental going right now for a uh trombone yeah the way this company works is you of course can buy outright or um you can pay monthly payments and then once you've made all your payments you own it's like called a rental program we, we've got a couple more months right we're almost done yeah we've got a couple more months on a yamaha trombone and the cool thing is you own that one, but they will let you take the money you put towards that one and you can put it towards a more expensive one. Of course, they're going to get you. Yeah. They're going to get you at every step of the way, right. but it's not bad, especially since like we didn't know that Molly was going to play the trombone for three years. Right. So maybe she does it for a year and then she says, oh, well, I don't yeah, want to well, do I it. I had no idea if she was going to like it or not. So, it, so this, this trombone, this not trombone, this saxophone I imagine it was probably new or nearly new whenever they got it. It looks like it was new. And they had it for three years or whatever, and now it's going to be moving on to its next home. Yep. Probably two fifty to three hundred dollars, I think. I may even get Molly to. You think Molly could bring it to school and get her teacher to check it out for us? <laughs> I doubt it. All right. This next thing is pretty speculative, uh, but these two boxes for ten dollars. They didn't have a price, and they just, whenever I went up there, they asked me to make an offer after I asked them the price. And they had, man, they had a really nice house, and they had a really nice, 
like warehouse type thing back there. Yeah, this huge warehouse thing. Maybe um, they had a big RV they stored in it or something. Or more than that. It was yeah, huge. It was huge. But uh, when they asked me how much, I knew I could didn't have to go very high because it is used stuff. Uh, $10 I paid. And the reason I did this is because I started looking through the cables and I saw like, like in this box, it's all like monster cables for the most part audio video cables or? yeah and look this brand like this is crazy like when i pick this up this is these are just like audio cables here and they are so i don't can y'all tell how thick these are yeah it's stupid thick and then the brand on these was aperture a-p-a-t-u-r-e yeah. started looking that up saw some ridiculous prices on those like i think that that one cable right there I might be able to get 20 dollars for that one cable oh wow um and look this is uh, it just keeps going yes. not all of it is is monster but there's a lot of monster cables in there and i figured that i could lot stuff up see that's a that's a monster s video cable for instance yeah i could lot a lot of this stuff up for really good money i think and there are some things that probably aren't like that just looks like normal cables there but i figured i could go ahead and take a stab at these over here i don't know what this other oh this box here look at this y'all this has like look at the size that is speaker wire oh wow yeah like super duper thick speaker wires and there is absolutely nothing wrong with using used speaker speaker wires so i went ahead and bought those so i mean this whole box is pretty much just solid copper almost yeah. so we'll see how i do i've never bought like cables used cables with the intent of trying to resell them before but i figure why not try it out there's a monster cable five to one thousand megahertz some kind of oh that's a splitter that's all that is this box right here is mostly speaker wire though and that box is mostly like interconnect cables and stuff so we'll we'll see how we do on this what, what do y'all think about this buy y'all ever bought anything like that before uh, you saw some people like lotting them up right yeah like not huge lots but maybe like two or three right cables per lot right and the buy cost on these is almost zero right you know so i thought that might make an interesting little experiment to see how that goes because you do see from time to time you do see boxes with full of cables like that mm -hmm. usually it's not high-end stuff though yeah so that's everything from saturday. that's everything from saturday saturday's garage sales yes we did actually go and do another buy the from last the last one from Kevin and Danielle, yeah. uh, which we'll save for another video. Yep. So thanks a bunch for watching and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye y'all. Bye.